Today you're going to be learning about comics and preparing to create your own comic strip. So let's take a look at the things that you have to have within your comic strip and then we're going to start picking it apart. The first thing you'll need to have is a splash panel. So let's just go down here. Your splash panel is the first panel that you see. This usually has the title and can include some type of action or scene that might be happening. The second thing you're going to need to have is the gutter. The space that you see inside, uh, in between these panels, these little these shapes, this is called the gutter. So notice that the gutter is small and it's not very wide. Then you're going to have some captions. Now captions are different than your word balloons. Notice word balloons are next, word balloons and using typography. Um, your typography needs to be clearly legible so that people can read it. Um, and then your word balloons, as I mentioned, is different than your captions. So let me show you an example of that. Here's um, a little comic. This is a one panel comic. And well, it's actually more than one panel because you can see a couple smaller ones right down here. But these are your dialogue panels. And then this is um, your caption. So this kind of helps the reader along in telling the story that's happening. So your captions are different than your dialogue. Um, your point of view, you must include three different points of view, a long shot, um, something that's seen from far away, something that is a medium shot, and then a close-up panel. So if you take a look at this Edison Lee, the brilliant mind of Edison Lee comic, you're going to notice that um, he's over, I think, by the toaster. He's a much smaller version. Here he's a little bit bigger, is more of a medium shot, and then here is your close-up. So there's a couple different points of view within this particular comic. And then finally, you want to have panel variety. What I'd like you to notice is that even though these are all kind of squares or rectangles, um, they're all, they're different. So here we have a long narrow panel. Here we have a medium size. This one's tall and skinny. So having a variety of um, sizes and shapes is, um, could be making your comic more interesting to look at. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to complete this packet. So tune in to the next video and we'll start walking through the packet together.